Okay, so today we're going to show you how to set up um, and get a patient ready to go into the Snyder Model 2100 oxygen unit. So you have compartment A here where the patient goes, compartment B which is where the soda lime tray and the coils live, and then compartment C which is where the operating unit is. The first step um, before any patient goes into it, it should be calibrated. You want the, in the door to be open and the inside of the unit to be as close to 70 degrees as possible. So once it's at 70 degrees, you're going to turn on the unit. You're going to go ahead and press here in the oxygen panel and then select calibrate oxygen. It's going to tell you that it's going to set it. It has to be close to 70 degrees. You're going to click OK. And now it's calibrated to 20.9%. And at that point, the calibration is done. The doors have remained open the entire time. With the unit itself, it comes with two different dividers. Obviously, it can be used without a divider. A solid divider, if this divider is in, a patient cannot go on this side of the unit. It also has a ventilated divider if you have two different patients that you would like to put in the unit. For the sake of this demonstration, we're going to leave this in here. Anything that is plastic or acrylic cannot be cleaned with Kinesol or anything abrasive because it will dull the acrylic and the dividers. It must be cleaned with this glass cleaner. So, setting up for a patient. Ask it alarms because of... Okay. So, the first thing we're going to do is set the oxygen concentration. We're gonna press this, and if you have your patient that needs a maximum of 40% oxygen, you're gonna type in 40 and hit enter. The low set point will automatically set to 2% lower than the high set point. After that, you have to switch it from monitor only, which just tells you the concentration, to active output, and at that point, the flow meter turns on, which is located right here. The flow meter should always stay just about 15 liters per minute and it will prime the oxygen cage to 40% in roughly 7 to 10 minutes. With the flow meter wide open, it'll get the oxygen cage to 40% in a minute and a half. Next to set up is the chamber itself. You're going to select chamber and set the temperature that you would like it to be at. So if the temperature is 71 degrees, you're going to hit that and it'll automatically get it to that. You're going to select monitor only and there's four different options here. Climate control will heat and cool the unit to maintain that temperature. Heat will only uh, apply heat to the unit to get it up to temperature. Cool will only cool it down to the temperature. Dehumidify, if the humidity is too high in the chamber, you have to select dehumidify. It will not automatically do that itself. You also have to shut it off. With dehumidifying, it will also suck the oxygen out of the chamber, so it'll use more oxygen. So it is not ideal to leave that setting on for long periods of time. So we're gonna select climate control so that it maintains that temperature. After you're gonna go back. So the alarm, up here is going off because the oxygen is not where we set it at. So if you click that, you can see all of the different alarms that have previously gone off. You can mute the alarm, you can clear the log, and exit. The left floor and the right floor do not heat the upper ICU unit floors, they heat the lower kennel floors. This is the right floor. This is the left floor, we'll get labels for that. And those you can adjust by same thing. Right floor temperature 100 degrees, you must switch it off of monitor only to active output. So your patient needs the soda lime tray changed. So what we're gonna do is open this chamber here. You have to not only pop these up, but turn them and this door will come off and your soda lime tray lives right here. The soda lime tray should only be two to three granules thick and helps filter the waste gases from the unit. 
If that area is dirty, if you have dust like you can see here, you can use keyboard cleaner or compressed air to blow that off. Once you're done, twist and then lock. The unit has several ports to run IV lines through. You have one here. You also have two that come down through the top. So these should always stay plugged with a red cap if nothing is going through them. 